Hello and welcome to the third stage of the virtual Tour de France. Today we reach France. The fast and rolling roads of the day include the particular landscapes of Brittany and Normandy, the Mont Saint-Michel, but also the historic monuments such as the Pont du Gard. The riders face a 24 km circuit to be covered twice and on which we find two intermediate sprints per lap and a mountains classification. We start with the women's race. The yellow jersey is in the possession of Team Tibco Silicon Valley Bank. The wearer was second and fifth on the first two stages, American Kristen Faulkner. A few kilometres after the start, the leading group has around 30 women. Among this group we find the winner of the first stage and polka dot jersey for the drops team, 19-year-old April Tacey. She secures the polka dot jersey for the drops team at the end of this stage after passing the first climber classification in first place. The green jersey is also on the shoulders of Tibco Silicon Valley Bank worn by Nina Kessler. A hotly contested jersey in this stage. The group shrinks kilometre after kilometre Nina Kessler ends up cracking in the end less than five kilometres from the line. Faulkner and Tacey are still at the forefront. A number of teams are well represented, including FDJ Nouvelle Aquitaine. Faulkner and Tacey start the sprint 400 metres from the line. Many riders ignite their power-ups, but it is Zwift specialist from Canyon Shram, Tanya Erith, who powers clear to win the stage. The Zwift Academy winner secures the Tour de France prize she's been dreaming of. Chloe Digard of 2020 finishes second, April Tacey takes third. Tibco Silicon Valley Bank keep the yellow jersey in front of Canyon Shram and drops. Well, I'm super happy to win uh, after the last stage. Uh, yeah, I wasn't really disappointed because I really wanted to get that green jersey and that went well. But yeah, stage win is always something special. So I thought, yes, this is kind of my thing. So I should win a stage. And uh, that it worked out now makes me super happy. The men's race now en route at Grand Vitesse. Ryan Gibbons, winner of the first stage from South Africa, is at the front at the start of the stage with his yellow jersey. But it's the German Alexander Krieger of Alpes and Phoenix who steals the spotlight at the Pont du Gard. Krieger takes maximum points. Winner of the last Tour de France, Egan Bernal, is present on this third stage from Colombia. But this route is not to his liking and he's smiling in a group of chasers. In the leading group, we find a rider who can be considered favourite for this stage, Norwegian Edvald Bosenhagen. Trek Segafredo's Luxemburger Alex Kirsch is first to try his luck. He attacks, but is quickly brought back. 13 kilometres from the finish line, Edvald Bosenhagen assumes his favourite status as he takes the penultimate intermediate sprint. It seems a sprint is inevitable. In a closely contested finish, it is the Canadian Matteo Dalcin of the Rally Cycling Team who wins in front of the young British rider of Group Arm FDJ, Jake Stewart. The 2017 Canadian champion wins this stage as Mitchelton Scott take third place with Callum Scottson. NTT put two men in the top ten and retain the yellow jersey. 43 points ahead of Rally Cycling and 66 ahead of Trek Segafredo. We were all like pretty new to the, the Zwift platform. I mean, myself and a couple of the other Canadians who live up in the snow uh, had dabbled in it in the wintertime. But uh, yeah, he basically has uh, talked us through all the tips and tricks that he's learned. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think that we would uh, be in with a fighting chance without him. Thanks very much for joining us. See you tomorrow for Stage 4.